All right, greetings everyone. Uh, the purpose of this video is to go over an additional example of using dimensional analysis to do con some conversions and to solve a problem. And I should say that, you know, typically when we think of dimensional analysis and maybe prior to this class, the way you thought of it is as conversions, like converting from one unit to another, like converting miles to inches or meters to centimeters or something along those lines. In this class, we're using it a little bit different where we're still converting units, but at some time, at some points, we may be converting units that don't seem related. Uh, like for example, in this problem that is on the screen right now, we're going to um, begin with talking about cups of juice and somehow convert that quote unquote into a price, which maybe doesn't make a lot of sense. But um, the kind of the idea with dimensional analysis is we're just setting up uh, rates that include units. We cancel out units until we get the units we want. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. It says that because you enjoy your math class so much, which I know is true of all of you, uh, you decide to make some key lime pie to share with your peers. For this pie, you're gonna need 1.5 cups of lime juice, and at the store, you find that limes are on sale for 69 cents each. And you know that each lime produces two tablespoons of lime juice. So we're trying to figure out how much you sh should expect to spend on limes for this recipe. So first things first with a problem like this, let's uh, highlight some of the important information. So I see, first of all, when I look at this, that we're going to need 1.5 cups of lime juice for the pie. Limes are on sale for 69 cents each, and that each lime produces two tablespoons of lime juice. And when we're setting this sort of thing up, we probably want to start by identifying all the rates that we see in the problem. Okay, and remember, rates is a ratio of two quantities. And the information we're given, the stuff that I've highlighted, each piece can actually be set up as a rate. So the first one I see is that the 1.5 cups of lime juice for the pie. So what that tells me as a rate is that I need 1.5 cups of juice per one pie. And that might be a strange way for you to think about it. I know perhaps maybe outside of math class, we don't necessarily talk about things that way. Um, but that's exactly what that means, right? One cup of lime juice for a pie means one cup of lime juice per pie. All right, the next piece of information we see is that limes are on sale for 69 cents each, which tells us we can write that as a rate for 69 cents per one lime. Okay. So again, uh, if you've never thought about it that way, 69 cents each means that it's 69 cents for one lime or 69 cents per one lime. And the last thing that I see here, again, that piece of information is that each lime produces two tablespoons of lime juice. So it looks like that there are two tablespoons of juice per one lime. Okay, so those are all of our rates that are in the problem. We're going to use this. Again, our goal here is to figure out how much we're going to spend on limes for this recipe. So I'm going to highlight that as well in a different color. So we're trying to figure out how much we're going to spend. So we want, since we're trying to figure out how much we're going to spend, the units we want in our final answer would be dollars. All right, so let's set up the dimensional analysis for this. And it may not be super clear on where to start here, uh, like what our first rate will be in our dimensional analysis. But let's notice that, you know, the kind of the key idea here is how much we're gonna spend on limes. And the reason we need limes is because we need lime juice for our pie, right? So we need that 1.5 cups of lime juice. So I'm gonna start with that rate to set up my dimensional analysis. So I'm gonna have 1.5 cups lime juice. per the one pie. Okay, so that's like gonna be my starting. So now I've used this rate here. 
okay? And we're going to have to multiply that by something to help get us towards our goal of figuring out how much um, how much this is going to cost. Okay, well, when I look at the other rates here, I have dollars and limes in this one, and then I have tablespoons of juice and limes in this one. And the rate that I've started with up there, the two units that we have are cups of lime juice and pies. And so we see the part of lime juice that relates to this one down here. But the units are different, right? Up here we're in cups, down here we're in tablespoons. So we need to somehow, in order to be able to use this one about the tablespoons of juice, we need to have some sort of a conversion to take the cups into tablespoons. And you can look online or look in uh, maybe a conversion chart. And if you do, you may see that there are 16 tablespoons. That's not a bead. There we go. Tablespoons of juice in one cup. Okay, so we're going to use this. And actually, I should say one cup of juice. We're going to use this now to get rid of the cups up there and um, get it into tablespoons so that we can match with the units of this other rate. So I'm going to multiply by this rate here. Now, when I use this rate, I want to cap cancel out the cups, which means the cups need to be on the bottom of the one I'm multiplying by. So I'm going to multiply by one cup juice here. And then the top, and multiplying by 16 tablespoons juice. Okay. And notice when we do that, we end up with cups up here on the top, cups down here on the bottom, so those can cancel. And now we're into tablespoons, right? We still have the pie units there on the bottom, but up here we have tablespoons of juice, which now match the units that we see in this rate. So now we want to multiply by that one. Now notice, though, we need to be able to cancel out the tablespoons of juice. So in order to do that, we cannot write this right rate as it is with the tablespoons of juice on the top. So what we're going to do instead is write um, the two tablespoons juice on the bottom. Okay, and the one lime on the top. So basically I'm taking the units from this fraction here and I'm switching them, which is totally legal. And the reason that works now is I end up with tablespoons of juice up here, tablespoons of juice down here, and those cancel. And now we're into limes, right? Okay, now that's useful for us because the one rate we have left here has 69 cents per one lime. It includes the limes down there in the denominator. So we can go ahead and multiply by that. So this would be 69 cents per one lime. And again, that works out nicely for us because we have limes here, whoops, limes here and limes here. So those will cancel. OK, and notice now we've got our units into dollars, which is what we want because we're trying to figure out how much this is all going to cost. Right. So that is good. Now, again, I want to point out this might seem a little strange. Right. We started. I'll point this out as soon as I get this all erased here. OK. This all started back up here with cups of lime juice, right? And now we've somehow ended up in dollars. Again, that might feel strange, but that is totally mathematically legal. All right, so now we're going to multiply. And remember, when we multiply these things out, we just multiply the numbers across the top. So the 1.5 times 16 times 1 times 0 0.69. And then we also multiply the numbers along the bottom. So the 1 times 1 times 2 times 1. So if we multiply across the top, that 1.5 times 16 times 1 times 0 0.69, that'll give us 16.56. 
on the bottom, multiplying the 1 times the 1 times the 2 times the 1 gives us a 2. And then we also need to include our units, okay, for both the numerator and the denominator. So notice in the numerator, the only units that we didn't cancel out are these ones here. So those are the dollars. So that will go on the top. And then on the bottom, the only thing we didn't cancel out here was pi, or the the pi, since we're making the one pi. Okay, so it's, we have pi's on the bottom. And then we don't have to start, stop here. We can actually, since we have 16.56 over 2, we can divide those two things. And when we do that, we end up with 8.28. And I'm going to write this as 8.28 over 1. So anytime you have a single number by itself that is not a fraction, you can just put it over 1 to make it a fraction. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I want to transfer the units that we were left with to this final fraction. So the 828, that becomes dollars. The one on the bottom becomes pi. And so it looks like what we end up with is it's going to cost us $8.28 per one pi. So the answer to our question up here, then how much we should expect to spend on limes, our final answer there is $8.28 for the one pi, but I'm not going to write that just because we know we're making only one pi. All right. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching.